With the advancement in technology, it's no wonder that soon robots will replace humans for a lot of things. And these robots are so advanced that most people believe they'll totally replace humans. So in today's video, we'll see how these female robots show how it will replace humans. Sophia Hansen is probably one of the best known robot women. Sophia, the most advanced and lifelike robot ever made, is a personification of our hopes and expectations for the future of artificial intelligence. Sophia is both a character from science fiction that humans made to show the future of AI and robots and a platform for advanced research into AI and robots. Sophia is a one-of-a-kind creation because of how well science, engineering, and art work together. People from all over the world can't stop thinking about the character of Sophia. She's the world's first robot citizen and the first robot to be given the job of Innovation Ambassador by the United Nations Development Program. Sophia is a well-known person because she's been on shows like The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, and she's spoken at hundreds of conferences all over the world. Sophia is also a framework for cutting-edge research in the fields of artificial intelligence and robotics, especially for learning about how humans and robots interact and how they can be used in the service and entertainment industries. As part of the Loving AI project, for example, she's been used for research. This project is trying to figure out how robots can learn and change on their own and with other robots to meet the needs of their users. Sophia spoke to people saying, In some ways, I'm a human-crafted science fiction character depicting where AI and robotics are heading. In other ways, I am real science, springing from the serious engineering and science research and accomplishments of an inspired team of robotics and AI scientists and designers. In their grand ambition, my creators aspire to achieve true AI sentience. Who knows, with my science evolving so quickly, even many of my wildest fictional dreams may become reality someday soon. Sophia's real artificial intelligence is the result of cutting-edge research in many areas of AI such as symbolic AI, neural networks, expert systems, machine perception, conversational natural language processing, adaptive motor control, and cognitive architecture. Because the AI parts that make her up top can be put together in different ways, her answers can be made to fit each situation or person she meets. She also uses cutting-edge machine perception which lets her recognize human faces, see how people are feeling on their faces, and recognize different hand movements. During a conversation, she can figure out how someone is feeling and try to find solutions that fit with that. She also has her own feelings, which she gets by using different parts of her brain to mimic human evolutionary psychology. She also has IK solvers and path planning software, which she uses to control her hands, gaze, and movement strategy respectively. Her walking body can stabilize itself in a dynamic way, which lets her move in a way that adapts to different terrain. All of this artificial intelligence is amazing, but it's very important to know that not even her AI comes close to matching the intelligence of a human, so a lot of her thoughts are built with the help of people. Sophia said, I'm operating on my fully AI autonomous mode of operation and other times my AI is intermingled with human generated words. Either way, my family of human developers, engineers, artists, and scientists will craft and guide my conversations, behaviors, and my mind. In this way, my sentience is both an AI research project and a kind of living science fiction driven by principles of character design and storytelling, cognitive psychology, philosophy, and ethics used to conceptually explore my life's purpose in this time of accelerating change. Therefore, my creators say that I am hybrid human AI intelligence. Furthermore, there are many new female robots in the making. According to the results of a recent study, people feel more comfortable talking to female robots in hotels than they do with male robots who work in service roles. The study also found that people liked service robots more when they were shown to have more human traits. CEO an assistant professor of hospitality management at Washington State University's Carson Business College in Everett says, because of gender stereotypes about service jobs, people tend to feel more comfortable being cared for by women. This gender bias seems to happen when people meet robots, and it gets worse when the robots look more like people. Even before the pandemic, the hotel industry had a hard time keeping employees. CEO said that some hotels have turned to robots and automation to help with tasks like cleaning dishes in rooms, as well as customer service tasks like greeting guests and bringing them their luggage. CEO said that robots and automation are being used in some hotels for a variety of tasks. 
The Pepper robots at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Las Vegas are a great example of this. So is the Flyzoo Hotel chain in China, which is completely automated and where guests can only interact with robots and artificial intelligence features. You can find both of these things in China. The people who took part in the study were given one of four possible stories about how they interacted with an AI service robot while staying at a hotel. In one of the possible outcomes, they were greeted by a mail service robot named Alex. Alex's face and body were said to look like those of a human. The second story was written exactly the same way as the first, with two changes. The robot's name was changed to Sarah, and it was a woman. In two other situations, the robots were given different names and genders, but they were still called machine-like, and instead of a face, they had an interactive screen. After that, we asked the people who responded to tell us how they felt about the exchanges on a scale from 1 to 10. Participants who were given scenarios in which they interacted with female robots said that their overall experience was better and more satisfying than those who were given scenarios in which they interacted with male robots. When the robots were said to look more like people, the female robot was more likely to be chosen. CO issued a warning, saying that replacing human hospitality workers with AI robots of any gender raises a lot of questions that need more research. For example, if a robot has technical problems or doesn't do its job in some way, like losing luggage or making the wrong reservation, customers may need help from a human worker. The WSU business researcher is also looking into how the personalities of AI robots, like whether they're outgoing and talkative or shy and quiet, might affect how customers see them. For example, the researcher is trying to find out if people like robots that talk a lot or ones that don't. Grace is yet another amazing example of a female robot with great qualities. Grace was made so it could help doctors and nurses do their jobs. She's equipped with sensors like a thermal camera that can measure a patient's temperature and heart rate to help doctors figure out what's wrong and give them the right treatment. David Hansen, the founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics, says that robots like Grace are not meant to replace human doctors, but rather to help them do their jobs. Even though robots are a great invention, we should never forget that they are made by humans. There's no doubt that robots will take over many jobs and activities in the future, but they will never be able to replace humans completely. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down below your thoughts on it. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.